Hi, this is Music and Message, and this is A Message of Love. Remind me of everything You said from a child Whispering within my dreams that I'd never be left behind Cause I was yours, others me I found You've raptured me through these open doors What I left behind burned to the ground And it's always been a message of love Rescue mission sent from above Written upon the chant when the peace So I won't have to be afraid again It's all been about forgiveness And new life in Jesus' name Rescue mission sent from above It's always been a message of love When I forgot all whose I was You came to me in the night Wrote upon the wall of my life And saved me in your life Had a haven to rest, a place a peace to unwind Flood carried them all away But you saved me every time The wind has always been a message of love A rescue mission no sent from above Written upon a jet when the peace So I won't have to be afraid again It's all been about forgiveness And new life in Jesus' name Rescue mission sent from above It's always been a message of love been a fall falling away you return and I find at the dawning of a bread new day because you're mine you've been returned for me the whole the whole time the whole time
I was about six years old, asleep in my bed, and in my dream, I woke to a sound of a loud trumpet, shook the window above my right ear so I thought it might break. I got up and I padded my way down to the kitchen, and a sense of fear rising with every step. I had seen a movie where multiple people were taken away, raptured, while others were left behind to face a difficult time on this earth. They were left behind. This dream was a recurrent one, and as I walked to the kitchen, I already knew what I'd find. I could smell the bacon frying and almost burn, and I rounded the corner, and there were mom's clothes at the foot of the stove. Then I ran outside, smell fresh cut grass, the sound of a push mower, then, and then the sight of dad's clothes laying at the foot of the mower. I woke up terrified. I had been left behind. I found mom and dad went that after the dream and, and I went through the dream with them. I'm sure I told them it was just a, they told me it was just a dream and tried to reassure me. I thought this, I felt alone and scared. I know I felt guilty about some things I had done, stolen some cookies or maybe lied about some things. You know, I heard that there was a Galilean carpenter who lived a life without sin. That was the son of God who died for the wrongs I had done. And as I accepted him as savior, then I would be saved. I'd never be left behind as in my dream. I came to Jesus as a child and I confessed I was a sinner and accepted him as savior's, savior and those dreams stopped. Now this relationship has meant that I was his and I have always gotten in trouble quicker than most and often. Others may, but I wouldn't. Sin got bigger, of course, and snuck in my life. It's been a rescue mission and the Bible has been the love letter. I just keep it simple. For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. Romans 3.23 And the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. We get saved, we're getting saved, and one day we'll be saved from the presence of sin. Now, I made Jesus Lord of my life, for he has kept showing up out of love to save me from myself throughout life. He does this. Let no man deceive you by any means, for that the day shall not come except there be a falling away first. So when you fall away, he comes back. You know, there was a king that, bega that who began to party. He took the holy cups dedicated to the use of the temple, mixing the holy with the profane. And God showed up in the writing on the wall by God's angel declaring that his kingdom was over. This type of mixing of profane with the holy has always brought a return of those dreams, let's say, of God writes upon the tables of my life to get my attention and, and to anybody's attention. And then later in life, I went away, say, I went away to freshman year to pursue a future going forward here. And then this is a college first year. The dormitory I was in was an animal house, alcohol and smoke and all male dorm, but girls snuck in and out, you know, a semester, a semester in, the guidance told me your grades aren't bad, but it's not going to cut it. I separated, went to the library at night, I went to a different dorm next year. The next year, that old dorm that was previously in, burnt to the ground. And that has been my life. Rescued out with that result left behind. No one was hurting that, that, by the way. But what I did was this. I confessed it with my mouth that Jesus is Lord and believed in my heart that God raised him from the dead. And as Lord of my life, I'm saved. We can't earn our way to work our way to heaven. It's by grace we're saved by faith, not of ourselves. It's a gift of God not of works, lest any man should boast. But as I invite others to him, I'm getting, I'm getting rich, riches and future friends in heaven. And this Prince of Peace, he'll never leave me or forsake me. Um, there's been a great falling away from God in this country. In the world, we certainly lack peace. The Bible promises a day of Christ's return to take his church out of this world. What I found is he has been returning for me out of love to watch over me, save me, and guide me all the whole time. And he will return for this world too. It has been a rescue mission though. And his word has been his message of love. It's all been about forgiveness and new life in Jesus' name. The rescue mission sent from above has always been a message of love. Have a blessed week.